Welcome back to Defemerember 2023. This is Barbara and we are on the third day of Defemerember prompts. This is a series of creating fun ephemera during December, which I'm hosting together with my dear friend Louisa Heinzel. Throughout this series, you can expect tons of inspiration, goodies, freebies, and even a giveaway randomly sprinkled into our videos. So make sure to watch all our videos as we'll be posting four times a week until December 28th, so you won't miss any of the fun. And if you've missed any of our previous Defemerember videos, you can find them all in the playlist below, along with a prompt list for you to join in on the creative journey. And what you see me doing here is something I wanted to make for a long time and I will use later in this video. I will explain more about this in a bit. Good morning and welcome back to another Defemember video. We are on third day of our prompts. December 6th and the prompt is selfie in a bubble <laughs> when i thought about this a little bit more i thought this is going to be super fun and before i forget and so i don't get in trouble little effie here wants to say hello as well so good morning to you little effie today i don't even need to write down any notes i have it all in my head at least until a certain point and then my notes wouldn't help me either because i have to see it first <laughs> But before we start creating, I want to share a clip of one of my viewers. I was looking through the Defemember hashtag on YouTube and I stumbled upon this Australian channel. Without further ado, let me just play that for you. Alrighty, so this is my ephemera storage. So what I've done is covered a paper bag in jelly prints and then I printed the big Effie out twice and I've cut the top of his hat and across here. So he's got a pouch there. So he's Effie in Australia. And because he's in Australia, he has to have corks hanging off his hat to keep the flies away. So then when you lift up his hat, inside here, we've got one pocket. Behind him here, we've got another and he has a pouch on the front. Okay, so we've got a little Velcro dot there that's holding his hat down. Yeah, I'll put some Velcro on the back and he stays inside my journal. And if I need to, I can take him out. So I'll go through and I'll sort my pieces out. I can also stick things behind there, but not permanently because this is removable. But um, if I wanted to, I could pop something in the back there. So we lift up his hat and we've got the pocket and another pocket and then the pouch. And these little corks hanging off his hat to keep the flies away from his face while he's down in Australia. So Leigh, thank you so much for sharing your adorable Effie ephemera storage. I love the Australian Effie version with his little corks on his hat. <laughs> it is amazing. It's so fun to see all your different versions of Effie. So I closed this too early. So selfie in a bubble. I have something relatively short planned for you today because I know you got things to do. Yesterday's video was way too long. So I want to compensate for that today. So just to refresh your mind. So this was the prompt, a butterfly and three torn things. And then this was yesterday's prompt, salvaged birds, where we made these two grungy tags using a tutorial by dear Louisa Heinzel. So for today's prompt, the first thing that popped into my head was, of course, a shaker card. <laughs> I have, I think, only ever made one shaker card in my life. I don't remember if it was easy or not. Probably a good thing that I don't remember <laughs> because I don't think they're that easy to do, but we're just going to give it our best shot. And of course, the challenge then is to make it round. And I also don't know yet how I'm going to integrate it into the journal, but let's just go ahead and make the shaker card first. 
So I have prepared some things. Since it's a selfie, I thought it would be fun to actually have my own selfie in this journal. You don't have to do that. You don't have to add your own selfie if you don't want to. There's other options. And of course, since little Effie is the star of Defame Remember this year and he's our little craft buddy and helper, he needs to be in the selfie as well. So I also printed a version of him and he is from this freebie that I introduced when I made my cover. So let me just show you. So he is exactly the same as on my cover here. This is a pocket, by the way. So that means that I printed this one at 70%. Then you get this size. And the difference you see in quality is this is regular copy paper and this is matte photo paper. So same thing here. And he's going to join me in the selfie in our little bubble. <laughs> and for a background, I have chosen this one here, which is exactly the same that I have here on my cover, except it's smaller. I printed this one at 50%. This one, I think I printed at 70%, not 100% sure. <laughs> A lot of percentage going on there. So this is going to be the background. Let me move my journal aside. So this is going to be my background. I'm going to use these two circle dies. Now don't worry if you don't have circle dies, you need to find some round objects that you can trace, whether it's a jar or a bowl or something. You need to find two objects that are fairly similar in size that you can trace and cut out. Oh, we need a frame as well, right? So we need one circle for the background. So this is going to be the background of my bubble. I think this is my favorite page. Oh yeah, I should probably mention this is from my Defemember background kit. I will link that for you below, or actually I'll link my Defemember category from my shop. So you can see all the Defend Member options there at once. And then I need this one because I need to cut a frame and I haven't decided yet what I'm going to use for the frame. Maybe there's something in Louise's scraps that's big enough. It needs to be quite big. Oh, maybe this one. This one is nice and grungy. Okay, it's definitely big enough. Yeah, we could try that. Let's cut a frame out of that. And then, of course, we need some acetate for our window to look through. And then we also need some foam tape. I only have this wide one. So I'm going to cut, probably I'll cut this in thirds because this is quite wide. And then we will put that around. Okay, so it, it looks fairly straightforward. <laughs> Let's see. So the first thing I'm going to do is to cut out my background. This is just big enough for my circle die. So we have that. And I'll take the smaller circle and cut out the acetate. I hope that's going to cut well. If you don't have acetate sheets, maybe you can find some from some packaging. I'll run that through twice. Eh. Not really. Maybe a third time or maybe putting another sheet underneath. Let's try that. Maybe that will help. Otherwise, I'll just cut it out with my scissors. does not like the acetate. Okay, I'll cut it out with my scissors. That's fine. And then let's do the frame. And we have this cool circle to use in another prompt maybe. And this fun window, of course, as well. 
and we have our frame it's not totally even but i hope that's going to be okay so our frame will go over like this and i'm just realizing <laughs> that the acetate would have needed to be the size of the big circle not the small circle because how am i going to adhere this oh barbara okay let's find another piece of acetate so it looks like the only other transparency I have are these overhead transparencies. I will try that. They seem quite thick, so I don't know if it's going to cut. We'll see. So it almost cut. I just need to cut this piece out by hand. Let's try this again. So we have this, we have our transparency, and we have our frame. Okay. So then we need these two pictures. So it's going to be me and Effie. And I think Effie needs to go behind me. He can peek out from behind my shoulder. I still want to see some of that background. I think that would be cute. So that means I need to cut here and Effie here and of course where's my acetate here <laughs> it's so hard to see so I guess we're going to be behind the acetate I mean we don't have to we could also be in front of the acetate why not front of the acetate but behind the frame or even in front of the frame. Does that make any sense? I mean, even that's cute. Or do we go behind the acetate? Yeah, I think I'll put it all behind the acetate. So my issue at the moment is that if I just glue these things together, obviously I'm going to put foam in between, then we'll see the foam here on the sides, right? I don't want that. So I should have probably not even cut out a frame, but just cut out a smaller circle like I have here. And then I could have backed this and then I would never see the foam. You know what I mean? Because it goes out further and I can back it because if I just back it like this with something else, I'm still going to see the foam on the side here. So what if instead of this, because obviously I can use this on something else, I'm definitely not going to waste this. Louisa also had this in her scraps. She also had a tutorial on this where she makes oxide inks permanent on matte photo paper. So that's a really cool video as well. I will find that for you and link it. And I think this is big enough to just cut the smaller circle out and so that we make this actually into a card and this is still our bubble. So I cut this out. I can keep this for something else. It's absolutely gorgeous. Actually, it's coming apart <laughs> because I didn't glue these. So now if we put this over, we can then back it with something and hide the foam. Yeah, I think that makes more sense. I want to revisit the option of <laughs> having us in front. I mean, we could still add a frame. Hmm, we can totally add this frame. I like that. Okay, it all makes more sense now. <laughs> I should have probably watched some tutorials. Would have made my life easier. So. Barbara, in front of the acetate or behind the acetate? <laughs> decisions, decisions. No, I'll leave us in front. That kind of makes it look more dimensional. Okay, made a decision. So I want to ink up the frame using walnut stain. Please don't be stressed out if you have a feeling you're already falling behind. We have three days coming up where we're not posting anything and hopefully you'll have time to catch up. But even if you don't finish during December, it doesn't matter. These series will be up forever, hopefully. <laughs> as long as YouTube exists, hopefully, these videos will be up. We have viewers enjoying December 2022 and 2021 even now. So these series don't expire, so please don't stress yourself. I know this time is stressful enough for most people. We don't want to add to that. We just want to provide some fun distraction and some me time for you. 
and some creative time. So I think I should first glue us together. Effie, we're stuck together for life. <laughs> and then we'll glue us onto the frame. Then we can glue the frame onto the card. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. Then the acetate can be glued on the back, right? I think. And now we have to do the foam tape part. So I need, how, how am I going to do this? <laughs> I need a piece that's long enough. Effie, I think you're gonna have to move. And then I'm going to cut this into thirds. Try to be fairly straight. The stuff is sticky. <laughs> well, my backing is off anyway. I was going to say it helps to take the backing off apparently because then this is easier to shape. So now I'm just going to bend that to go around my circle. Oh my goodness, this is so sticky. <laughs> but with the backing off, it's quite easy to shape. Oh my goodness, this is not my favorite part, I can tell you that. Maybe this is why I don't usually make shaker cards. <laughs> ah! <laughs> is there a better way to do this? Okay, this foam tape is not very thick, so I could add another layer. Yeah, I think I'll do another layer so I won't even cut this off because that will give the sequence more space to move around. So I'll cut another strip. Oh my goodness. And now my scissors, of course, are all sticky. Oh, this is not fun. <laughs> You know what? I'm just going to leave the one layer. I'm not doing this. <laughs> so let me take off that. Oh, does that work? Yeah, I'll peel off that part that was double. Oh my goodness. Stop. I'll have to clean my scissors. Okay. Oof. So now we have, oh, before we add the sequins, this is what you saw me make at the beginning. So I cut up a stocking and put some baby powder in and I added another layer because I had the feeling too much baby powder was coming out. And I'm going, oh wait, but hmm, I'm just afraid if I do that now, it's also going to stick here and then this won't stick to my acetate. So I probably should have put this on the acetate and not on this, I wouldn't have mattered. So how do you do that? I see people adding this because the whole point of adding some powder here is that the sequins don't stick to the sides. But if I do that, this won't stick either. What? <laughs> okay, I'll put a little bit, kind of just trying to get the edges. And I think it will also help the sequins move around inside. I don't know. I'm sure some of you are experts at this. I'm obviously not. <laughs> so I made myself a mix of sequins that would fit to the colors I have here. I also don't know really how many to add. This seems like quite a lot. I'm not putting all. Obviously they will all move to the bottom. So let's close this. I hope it's enough space for them to move around. Oh, I also need to glue these down, huh? Ah, 
they can move. <laughs> okay, that's fun. <laughs> so now I need to glue us on as well. So we need to back this with something. Maybe another one of the scraps. Louise's, I think, are all not wide enough. Well, there is this one, but this one I kind of don't want to put on the back side. No, that one's too pretty. We have this one from yesterday that's not quite big enough. And then, of course, we have all of these that we made with a jelly plate. And I think the only one which would be kind of sturdy enough and big enough is this one, which is kind of weird on this because the colors don't fit. But does it really matter? Yeah, that's too small. That one is too small. And that's too small. And that's too narrow. So the height is actually, oh my goodness, it is perfect. How does that happen? <laughs> and then I'll just cut down the width. And since there's some sewing here, I'll also sew around it before I glue it on. want to make sure it's shut all the way around and then I'll ink up those edges from the back as well. So the back is done. I actually love it. It's so fun. But Effie, it doesn't feel complete. Actually, this makes me a bit sad. Why you ask? Well, I love that we're together here, but obviously someone very important is missing, right? Do you think you could find a photo? Okay, do your best. Oh, you did it. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Effie. Yes, this makes me happy now. So dear Louise needs to be on this photo. And this, I believe, is a photo from a thumbnail that I used last year for the Defam Remember wrap up. So this would be perfect. Yes, now we're the dream team. This makes me so happy. Thank you, Effie. Effie to the rescue. <laughs> How could the selfie be complete without you, Louise? It would never be. How do we do this now? I cannot, or can I? Oh, I could. So I just need to know where to cut this so that you fit in here. I'll just trace the edge here of my frame. <laughs> now we have the dream team. <laughs> Louisa, I hope you like this. I love it. I think we need to add the words dream team to the front here. And I'll add it on this, which was another one of Louisa's scraps. I think it fits beautifully with the rest. Excuse me, Effie. Actually, let me first do a test stamp. I'm using my 12 digit roller stamp. I will link one of these for you below as well. I like using this when I have letters that come multiple times because my other stamp set, the clickable alphabet stamps, first of all, they're a lot bigger. And second of all, you don't always have all the letters that you need. This one, I like to always try to see if I need to realign anything. I could realign the A a little bit. Okay, let's go for it. It's still a bit wonky, it's okay. <laughs> so I'll tear around that. Do we 
put it on the bottom or on the top. No, there's more space here on the bottom. <laughs> I want to stamp something else. I really want to have the word Defemember on here as well. And I'd like to stamp it in the shape of the circle which is going to be very difficult. And there's a huge possibility of me messing this up. I'm going to try it anyway. So I have these small stamps. I think we'll be able to read it. Of course, this would have been better to do before I mounted this, but here we are. <laughs> so I need to figure out, because I want this like, I think on the top mm, or on the bottom. No, I want it on the top, curving like this. So in order to center this, I need to figure out what my middle letter is. So let's write it. D it's really a long word. <laughs> so we have 13, so that's great. So we actually have a middle letter, which would be the seventh. So this E is the one. So that means the E needs to go here, and then I can stamp on either sides, and hopefully they will end up even. Oh, that's right on the edge there. Now, I just hope I don't make a spelling mistake. <laughs> it's good to have it written here. Otherwise, I could not do this backwards. It's good enough. It's not perfectly aligned because I stamped these a little closer together, but I'm totally happy with it. So let's see how we can integrate this into our journal. We have an empty backside here. We could obviously just put it into a pocket or a tuck spot. Definitely not gluing this down, otherwise we won't see this beautiful backside. Another option would be to just make holes so that I can have it as a separate page. Hmm, I like that idea. It doesn't fit centered because these two holes are right on the corners, but if I move it down, that will work. Oh, that's perfect. So I can take my template that we made yesterday and I can put it here. That way I know exactly where my holes should be. Maybe I should do this on the back side. That might be easier. So I'll trace these. And then I'll punch them. Got missed one here. Love it, love it, love it. <laughs> so this way, I can always take it out and shake it. <laughs> I have to admit, shaker cards are super fun. Oops, that's wrong. I kind of really love that it's a separate page. And it doesn't matter that it's not here. I can still do next prompt here, or it doesn't matter. I can just do them wherever I want. The only thing that I don't have here now is the name of the prompt, selfie in a bubble. Is it worth putting it on the back? Not really, because I might actually do another prompt on the back here. I think I'll add it on top here. I actually added my own handwriting which is something I don't do because I don't like my own handwriting. So I just took a piece of this book page that we used yesterday and that's perfect. I just wanted to have like a self-made character, you know? Not everything has to be so perfect. Another successful piece of ephemera. So I can, whoops, I can cross this off, yay! I hope your pieces of ephemera are making you as happy as mine are making me. I'm having a blast and this takes me right back to the ephemera 2022. I was so sad when it ended because this is just so much fun. You get so many ideas that you wouldn't have if you wouldn't have prompts like this. Yay! <laughs> 
This can go back here. I didn't even need any notes. Look at me. <laughs> good job, Effie. We're a good team, but we definitely need Louisa in our team. Speaking of Louisa, let's go check out her video. It's linked below. And don't forget to check out the Defend Member hashtag to also see what other creators are posting. Love you guys. Mwah. Mwah.